this question might seem a little bit abstract or strange or something, but it says, how many grams of calcium metal are produced by the electrolysis of molten calcium bromide using a current of 30 amps for 9 hours? Holy crap, what do we do with that? As I talked about in the lecture that I'm going to show you a piece of right here, if we're given a circuit's amperage, and we're asked to calculate the amount of product formed by electrolysis during a period of time, there are certain steps that we have to follow. The first one is we need to convert the amperage to coulombs by remembering that amperage times seconds equals coulombs. So let's go to the board here. Once again, it tells me that <clears throat> I've got 30 amps. So I need to somehow change that into coulombs. So I'm going to go write, write down magic, and then uh, where we go through the magic box, and then we come out with some number of coulombs. We have to keep in mind that amperage times seconds equals coulombs. It tells me that in, in this problem that I've been running this for nine hours. So let's begin by seeing if we can figure out how many hours uh, nine, or sorry, how many seconds nine hours is. Well, I've got nine hours, and you probably know that one hour uh, contains 60 minutes, and uh, one minute contains 60 seconds. So if I throw that in there, I end up getting a certain number of actual seconds, and that number comes out to be 32,400 seconds. Okay, that's, that's a lot of seconds. Anyway, to convert amps into coulombs, you just take the number of amps and you multiply it by the number of seconds. So if I take this and this and just times them together, voila! I've thrown everything in a magic box, it comes out the other side, it's coulombs. So I can take, once again, 30 amps, I can multiply that by my 32,400 seconds, and throw that in a magic box, voila, it comes out with coulombs. That final number ends up being uh, 972,000 coulombs. So that's step one of this whole process. Now we'll go back to the PowerPoint slide and we'll take a look at step two. Step two says that once you've done the step one stuff, convert coulombs to electrons by remembering that one mole of electrons equals 96,485 coulombs. So I've got 972,000 coulombs. And once again, I want to do dimensional analysis to convert that into electrons. So I want to do something where I get electrons out the other side. I should remember then that, um, once again, one mole of electrons, I guess I'm trying to convert into moles of electrons, clarify that, is equal to 96,485 coulombs. Coulombs cancel each other out. I throw that into my calculator. That will tell me how many moles of electrons I'm actually getting in this number of coulombs. And that uh, comes out to be 10 0.07 moles of electrons. So we've now done step two of this process. Now we'll go back to the PowerPoint slide and see what the next step is. Step three says, use the stoichiometric ratio of electrons to product to calculate the amount of product in question. In order to do this, we're going to have to write out our equation. So here's our actual reaction. It tells me that I've got calcium bromide being converted into calcium and bromine. In order to figure out how many electrons this is, I'm going to have to separate the sucker out. Acknowledging this is calcium 2 plus, and this is two separate um, atoms of Br minus bound to that calcium 2 plus. So I'm going to separate this, in other words, into half reaction. Notice I've got calcium 2 plus going to calcium 0. That is a positively charged calcium going to zero. It's becoming more negative, which means it's gaining electrons, which means that that, I'll go ahead and write down my gaining electrons, is reduction. I've got Br minus one going to Br zero. I've got something that's got a negative one going to zero. It's becoming more positive, which means that it's losing electrons, so that is oxidation. So I can write down my oxidation and my reduction. My oxidation half reaction is going to be a two moles of Br minus uh, combining to form Br2. My electrons, of course, have to go here on this side, so it's spitting out electrons. How many moles of electrons does it spit out? Well, it has to spit out two moles of electrons in order to balance that charge. We've got a negative two total on the left, negative two on the right. Now, I've got separately my reduction. I've got calcium two plus doing some stuff to turn into calcium zero, calcium zero. So uh, balance-wise, that's pretty good. I have to throw some electrons down, though, to get the charge to balance. I've got two plus on the left, zero on the right. I'm going to have to put, throw down two electrons on the left 
to get that to bounce charge-wise. In, in essence, what's happening in this process is my bromide is spitting out two electrons and those two atoms of bromine are combining in the process to become Br2. Those two electrons are then feeding into calcium 2 plus ion and are being used or absorbed by that ion to turn it into calcium 0, which is calcium metal. This is a two electron process. So that takes me once again to step 3, which says, use the stoichiometric ratio of electrons to product to calculate the amount of product in question. So we've determined from uh, before, this is 10.07 uh, moles of electrons. That's how many moles of electrons have been spat into this thing when we ran 30 amps for 9 hours. So I'm going to write down 2.07 moles of electrons right here. And now I'll note from the stoichiometry up here that I have 2 moles of electrons for every 1 mole of calcium. Now I'm focusing on the calcium because the question asked me about calcium. It asked how many grams of calcium metal are being uh, produced in this process. As this process goes, by the way, you are producing calcium metal. And if you were doing this in a battery or a galvanic cell, you'd see calcium start to accumulate uh, at the uh, cathode because that's where the reduction site is. So I've got uh, moles of electrons, moles of electrons. I want to eventually get to grams of calcium. So I'm going to write grams of calcium on top. One mole of calcium in the denominator. How many grams of calcium are there in one mole of calcium? Well, I looked that up on the periodic table. It's about 40. So moles of calcium cancel each other out. Moles of electrons cancel each other out. And I'm left with the total number of grams of calcium, which when I threw that in my calculator came out to be about 202 grams of calcium. So that is the way or the process by which you would calculate the number of grams of something that's produced when you throw a bunch of amperage uh, through a uh, redox reaction for a certain period of time. Yay!